Hello everyone, welcome back to Tank Wars 3. I am your host, Chromoid, and today we're going to be watching yet another primary bracket fight against uh, two more entries in their first battle in the tournament. This time we've got Crozeus returning to us after, I think, was it two years, Crow? Two years since we've seen you? Uh, bringing us the Paper Tanks 2, uh, and, uh, sorry, Paper Tanks 2nd Edition uh, team, featuring three of these... Uh, Blue dictionaries, three, uh, re uh, four red dictionaries, and one forbidden truths. I love the fact that it's got like little bindings on the back, and it's going to be facing off against the entries submitted by Sean Ree three four three. I can't remember if there's an actual team name for this, but these are the Baronike Land, uh, Baronike Knight Land Cruiser. I think they have, yes, large missile gantries in the back. The Serpent Soldier tanks, the Serpent Mage tanks, uh, these contraptions, the Balder Knight Rapiers, and the Balder Knight Crossbows. So, with that out of the way, let's get this fight underway. Three, two, one, start. Right away, I think... Uh, yeah, the, most of the, the reds and the blues are a mix of HE and AP frag um, shells. I think Forbidden Truths might be diff. It might, yeah, that's almost definitely a diff gun. Um, while the uh, Sean Reed's entries are a mixture of simple weapon spam, like these, uh, these knights, or these uh, mages, which are pretty much meant to distract and possibly strip off any weak... Uh, any weaknesses that, that can be found on the holes. These soldiers are pretty much just there to be there, and, and I guess they're excited part of, to be part of this. Uh, knights, uh, the rapiers and the crossbows are there to kind of do most of the damage, and of course the uh, the land cruisers, they have large missile gantries to make for big uh-ohs with whatever they hit, and also to soak a lot of damage. I think they're primarily made of heavy armor. Um, we're going to see what a big uh-oh looks like in about three seconds. Oh, no! <laughs> Well, the land cruisers definitely are effective against wood blocks, at least. <laughs> uh, the heavy armor underneath thankfully protected uh, the majority of the juicy griblies on the Forbidden Truths from that barrage, but that is that is stiff. There are more than a few uh, heavy hitting tanks on each side. Another land cruiser has successfully taken the attention of a majority of the dictionaries who have scampered off after it. A crossbow has become stuck. And I think crossbows are supposed to crab sideways. Yeah, you see it's sliding sideways. It, it does fire missiles out the back as its primary weapon. Uh, unfortunately, it's also got a red dictionary at the back, and that thing's firing HE. So if by an unfortunate confluence of events, that HE shell meets up with the missiles as they're leaving the back of the crossbow, it could spell some very unfortunate events for the uh, crossbow. Rapiers over here, firing into the blue dictionaries, rolling itself, taking hits like a champ. Not taking hits like a champ. That hurt. Uh, another uh, rapier appears to have lost all mobility. It's not dead. It's just not aiming anymore. Which tells me I think the detection got sheared off. Or... Yeah, I have no idea what's going on here. Uh, two serpent mage tanks already disqualified. Somehow the soldiers are still alive. Maybe it's because they're just... You know, maybe just because everyone knows they're harmless. I don't know. Uh... Red dictionaries circling around, pelting things to pieces. Is that a land cruiser? One of the land cruisers has been dismantled. Wow, that happened fast. I was not paying attention. Looks like the shells coming out of the dictionaries and the Forbidden Truths are way stronger than anticipated. Unfortunately, Forbidden Truths, having dared to bring Forbidden Knowledge to the battlefield, has been pretty heavily damaged. Almost loosed from its bindings, but uh, yeah... It's, it's struggling now. It's got one one pair of functioning guns at this point. One Baronike Land Cruiser is still alive. I'm wondering if that one... No, it didn't despawn due to distance, obviously, because there were dictionaries nearby. Yeah, this rapier has just failed to do anything. I think it's uh, gotten some sort of uh, AI or detection damage that's rendered it incapable of shooting at anything, even though it seems to have a perfectly functional gun. This one has similar, suffered a similar effect. It's just kind of... Oh! Okay, well, that effect is called It's No Longer in Play. 
This leaves us with some crossbows, uh, a couple of soldiers that really aren't going to do much. Oh, the soldiers are dead. Uh, that leaves us with crossbows and a, and a uh, land cruiser. This is quickly shaping up to be a stomp. One blue dictionary has gone down. I did not see that happen. Uh, the reds are over here. Just kind of circling wide. Uh, it's entirely possible one of the dictionaries went down simply because they were uh, too far away. You see that red over there is kind of circling wide around the Land Cruiser. All of Sean Reed's entries have been, pretty much come to a halt now. I'm not sure what's going on. Either it's due to damage or lack of fuel. Um, given the fact that they're not firing anymore, I'm going to say it's due to damage. Uh, you see that laser is no longer targeting. It's probably something to do with the detection ha that has been uh, dismantled or disabled. But yeah, the uh, <laughs> the dictionaries are still pelting away. And they are soon... Yeah, one's missing a turret. A couple of them have been damaged, but I, I think this is going to be it. One's tipping on its side <laughs> a little crazily. Hopefully one of its buddies can come over and knock it back onto its treads so it can keep uh, rolling around and educating people. I've been told that uh, people can't... You know, still a good chunk of people in the world can't read, so it's... Uh, Probably for the best if someone gets him back on his feet so he can keep helping people out. That's not what I mean, Red, uh, mean red Dictionary. No. No, that did not mean flip him over and then add yourself to the pile. Ah. Crossbow getting whittled down. One Land Cruiser still remaining as well. These are coated in heavy armor, but are just not able to stay alive long enough to do much, it would seem. I'm, I'm not sure why they just suddenly stop. This one's at 94.6%. It should be healthy. I mean, but you see that it's not uh, not doing anything. Not rolling, not shooting, nothing. And as far as I know, this sort of thing happens pretty much exclusively when the detection system can't uh, find any sort of uh, enemies to fire at. I think it just reloaded its missiles, too. Yeah. Yeah, the hatches are closed. Well, no, the hatches are closed, so it hasn't reloaded its missiles. But, I mean, you know... A bit disappointing, but that's how it goes sometimes, I guess. Uh, land cruisers started out. Uh, the the th Sean 343, his entry started out strong, but uh, unfortunately, seems they were not prepared for the, uh, the throwdown they were about to have. It looks like red dictionaries are actually firing heat, and that would explain a lot because I think heat got fixed recently, uh, so the projectiles now work, and it could be that with these. You see these towers up here. This is where all the detection is hiding. And while it looks like the tower is okay, heat does spawn inside of um, vehicles whenever it encounters AI. It's basically really good at, at shredding through AI. So it could be that with all this uh, heat spam, some of it hit those towers, took out the detection, and without that extra detection, maybe they were sharing detection with some of the smaller vehicles, everything kind of just stopped working. Well, something just detonated over here. Either someone went too high or went out of range. Oh, yeah, the dictionaries went, were out of range. So this one's going to disqualify as well. Oh, well, it happens. We're down to one entry for uh, Sean Reed. If Crozeus man manages to disqualify himself uh, at this point, well, he's got nobody but himself to blame for that. <laughs> oh, but that's the heavy armor being shredded off the side of the Land Cruiser, finally, and exposing some juicy internals. It really only takes one lucky heat shot hitting something like, you know, an AI core, ammo, anything like that, and I'm pretty sure this will be over. Forbidden Truths, still alive, little, looking a little worse for wear. It's at 69.3%, and it and one of the other dictionaries is pretty much the worst of the damage. In the entire team. The two that are disqualified pretty much just got disqualified by being out of range, not by taking damage. So, really two tanks that have taken a significant amount of damage. Oh, there's three that got disqualified. Okay, my bad. But yeah, I mean, at this point, that's it. The Land Cruiser takes too much damage and is despawned, and that means this victory will go to Crozeus. So, congratulations, Crozeus. Your team is going to be moving on in the primary brackets, and Sean Ray343, I'm afraid your uh, tanks are going to be going down to secondary to do battle there. So, thank you both for participating. Thank you all for watching. I've been Chromoid, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.